Ever wondered how a tiny seed transforms into a beautiful plant? It's all about the magic of germination. This process is the first step in the life cycle of a plant and it's truly fascinating. Picture this, a seed sitting idle in the soil, waiting for just the right conditions to spring into life. It's not just about the soil, water, and sunlight, it's also about the perfect temperature and the right amount of oxygen. The real magic happens when the seed absorbs water. This hydration triggers the activation of enzymes within the seed. These enzymes kickstart metabolic processes that initiate the growth of the seed. It's like waking up from a deep slumber and stretching out your arms, ready to embrace the day. The seed is now primed and ready to grow, to reach out towards the sky, and to become the plant it's destined to be. So the journey of a plant begins with a little seed and the right conditions. As our seed starts its journey, the first part to emerge is the root. This initial growth is crucial as it anchors the plant into the soil, laying the foundation for the plant's future. The root grows downward, navigating through the soil particles, driven by the pull of gravity and the quest for nutrients and water. As it delves deeper, the root system expands, creating a network that not only provides stability, but also serves as the plant's lifeline. It absorbs essential nutrients and water from the soil, acting as a conduit connecting the plant to its food source. But that's not all. The roots also store food, ensuring a backup supply for the plant. Furthermore, they play a significant role in maintaining the overall health of the soil, promoting its fertility and preventing erosion. With the roots firmly in place, the plant is ready to take the next step in its growth. This next step is the shoot growth where the plant will reach for the sky and begin its journey towards sunlight. With a strong root system in place, the plant now begins to reach for the sky. This upward growth is known as the shoot, and it's a vital part of the plant's journey. Comprising the stem and leaves, the shoot serves a dual purpose. The stem is much like the plant's backbone, providing much-needed support. But it's not just a structural element, it's also a highway of sorts, transporting water, nutrients, and sugars between the roots and leaves, as the stem grows, it paves the way for the development of leaves, the plant's solar panels. These leaves are crucial for photosynthesis, the process that allows the plant to convert sunlight into energy. But that's a story for another scene. For now, let's appreciate the stem's role in helping the plant reach new heights, quite literally. As the shoot grows, it's time for the leaves to take center stage. Leaves are not just for show, they are the powerhouse of a plant. They play a vital role in a process known as photosynthesis, an incredible phenomenon that allows plants to convert light energy into chemical energy. As sunlight touches the surface of the leaf, the plant's green pigment, chlorophyll, captures this light energy. This energy then triggers a chemical reaction combining water absorbed by the roots from the soil with carbon dioxide taken from the air. The end result is glucose, a type of sugar that fuels the plant's growth and development. But that's not all. The process of photosynthesis also releases oxygen into the atmosphere, a byproduct that's pretty essential for us humans and all other oxygen-breathing life on Earth. Leaves also serve another function. They regulate water vapor and gas exchange with the atmosphere. This process is critical for the plant's survival, helping it respond to changing environmental conditions. With leaves developed, the plant is now ready to start the magical process of photosynthesis. Now that our plant has leaves, it's ready to start creating its own food. In the grand kitchen of life, plants are the chefs, and sunlight is the main ingredient. The process that transforms this light into life is known as photosynthesis, a word that comes from the Greek for putting together with light. Photosynthesis is a remarkable process, happening in the microscopic structures within a plant's leaves called chloroplasts. These chloroplasts are filled with an essential pigment called chlorophyll responsible for the green color of plants. This chlorophyll has a unique talent. It can capture sunlight every day as the sun rises, the chlorophyll in the plant's leaves starts absorbing light. This light energy sets in motion a fascinating and complex series of chemical reactions. The plant combines carbon dioxide from the air with water from the soil using the light energy to power the reaction. The result of this solar-powered chemistry, oxygen and glucose. Oxygen, which is released back into the atmosphere, is vital for the survival of almost all life on Earth. Glucose, on the other hand, is a kind of sugar that the plant uses for its growth and development. This simple sugar is the fuel that powers the plant, allowing it to grow, flower, and produce seeds. But photosynthesis is not just about making food for the plant, it's also about storing energy. 
When the plant creates glucose, it's effectively capturing the sun's energy and storing it in a form that can be used later. This stored energy is then released when the plant or any organism that consumes the plant breaks down the glucose. And just like that, the energy from the sun, captured by the chlorophyll, is turned into life. Without photosynthesis, there would be no plants, no animals, and no us. We owe our existence to this remarkable process. Photosynthesis is the plant's way of cooking up a meal, turning light into life. Our plant has come a long way and it's now ready for the final stages of its life cycle. As our green friend continues to grow, it reaches a pivotal point in its journey, maturation. This stage is not just about size or age, it's about readiness for reproduction. Depending on the species, our plant may begin to produce flowers, a vibrant performance to attract pollinators. The flowers house the reproductive organs, setting the stage for the creation of new seeds. These seeds carry the genetic blueprint of the plant holding the promise of a new generation. Once pollinated, the plant works tirelessly to develop these seeds. Once mature, they are ready to embark on a journey of their own, potentially becoming new plants. This is the plant's way of ensuring its lineage continues, a testament to the resilience of life itself. With the completion of its life cycle, our plant has successfully played its part in the circle of life. Plants are not just green. They come in a rainbow of colors. But did you know these colors serve important functions? In fact, the color spectrum of plants is a vibrant display of nature's ingenuity, with each hue playing a crucial role in plant survival and reproduction. Take chlorophyll, for instance. This pigment is the reason most plants are green. Chlorophyll absorbs sunlight and uses it in the process of photosynthesis to convert carbon dioxide and water into energy-rich sugars. In this process, chlorophyll reflects green light, giving plants their signature hue. But of course, plants aren't just green. Anthocyanins are pigments that paint plants in shades of red, purple, and blue. Often found in flowers and fruits, these pigments act as antioxidants, protecting plant tissues from damage caused by ultraviolet radiation and stress. And then we have carotenoids, the pigments responsible for the yellow, orange, and red hues we see in plants. These pigments not only protect chlorophyll from damage caused by excess light, but also participate in light absorption during photosynthesis. So when you see a plant with vibrant orange leaves or a yellow flower, you're witnessing carotenoids at work. Diversity in plant coloration isn't limited to pigments alone. Let's talk about variegation. Variegated plants exhibit different colors on their leaves, often in the form of patches, stripes, or spots. This intriguing phenomenon occurs due to mutations or changes in chlorophyll production, pigment distribution, or cell structure. Variegation can be naturally occurring or the result of human breeding. And finally, let's touch upon camouflage. Some plants use coloration to blend in with their surroundings and avoid being detected by herbivores or predators. For example, desert plants often have a greenish-gray color to blend in with the sandy environment. So, the next time you admire the colors of a plant, remember there's more to it than just beauty. Each color, each pigment, and each pattern has a role to play in the life of a plant, contributing to its survival, growth, and reproduction in its own unique way. We've traveled the journey of a plant from a tiny seed to a mature entity. We began with germination, where the seed springs to life in the right conditions. Then, the first root pushes downward, anchoring the plant and absorbing essential nutrients. As the root system develops, a shoot grows upward, forming the stem and leaves. These leaves, the powerhouses of the plant, facilitate photosynthesis, converting light energy into sugars to fuel growth. We've also discovered that as the plant grows and matures, it can reproduce, completing a beautiful cycle of life, and we've delved into the fascinating world of plant colors, from the chlorophyll's green to the vibrant hues of anthocyanins and carotenoids and the intriguing patterns of variegation. We've learned how these colors aren't just for show, they help plants survive, reproduce, and even camouflage. So, the next time you see a plant, you'll know the fascinating journey it has undertaken to become the beautiful entity you see before you.